Україна має великий потенціал відновлюваних джерел енергії. Biggest benefits of these new low carbon technologies is simply that it is much cheaper to use them. You cut gas costs dramatically and you increase your production. Це можливість не бути сировинним продатком, а виготовляти продукції, що дасть можливість створити додану вартість. Ukraine is a land rich with potential, but it needs to modernize its industrial base. Ukraine relies on fossil fuels for energy. With the cost of that energy high, it's looking for alternative sources. Sixteen pilot projects around the country show how the latest technology can reduce reliance on expensive fossil fuels, boosting participants' profits and helping to improve the environment. Overseeing the pilot projects are UNIDO, the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, and GEF, the Global Environment Facility. On-the-ground support comes from three Ukrainian government agencies. Для України є надзвичайно важливою роллю ЮНІДО, оскільки Україна зараз перебудовує свою економіку, свою промисловість. Ми маємо побудувати нову економіку, щоб бути в світових лідерах. І ось саме транспорт технологій, саме сучасна модернізація технологій, які допомагає ЮНІДО, є ну, навіть критично важливими для українського уряду. All of the companies involved have benefited. Pavlivsky Brewery brews beer in the west of Ukraine. Over the last few years, it's reduced energy consumption in a number of ways. It's replaced windows, insulated buildings, and installed less energy-intensive filling lines. With Unido's help, it's now installed a field of solar panels. До цього ми подавали воду на котли для перетворення в пару з температурою, скажімо, скважин там до 10-12 градусів температура води була. Завдяки цьому сонячному полю на сьогоднішній день ми на котли подаємо з температурою 70-80 градусів. Less time to heat water means less gas is needed. The brewery has cut gas consumption by 20% in a year and lowered its carbon dioxide emissions. Ну, звичайно, коли котли завдяки цьому сонячному полю менше працюють, вони менше викидів роблять в атмосферу. Результат на лице. Ukraine was well known as the breadbasket of the Soviet Union. Today, the country's agri-food industry is still large, but has plenty of room to grow and modernize. Biodiesel produced from rapeseed oil produces less carbon dioxide than diesel produced from fossil fuels. Unido's grant has allowed this farm to purchase new machinery, which has increased production by more than double and raised the quality of the product. Завдячуючи такому обладнанню і продуктивність збільшилася, і якість надзвичайно стала кращою, що дає можливість експортувати продукцію біодизелю за кордон. Мене великий сумнів в тому, що якщо б не було такого обладнання, я б зміг отримати європейський сертифікат сталості на даний момент. Variatia is a producer of oak flooring. The recent modernization of its sawmill led to a fourfold increase of timber production to 800 cubic meters per month. Drying the wood is an important part of the process, but uses a lot of energy. In order to keep costs low, it used a grant from Unido to install a biomass boiler. Мы посчитали, что нам выгоднее на сегодняшний день поставить твердотопливные котельни, которые будут работать на отходах нашего предприятия, тем самым, у которых у нас собирается большое количество ввиду большого цикла переработки. The money saved has allowed Variatia to hire more people and brought environmental benefits. Использование твердотопливных котельн, не используя природный газ, дало возможность не выбрасывать в воздух 420 тонн CO2. The huge Rivna non-woven factory has undergone modernization twice, but its past is still visible. Today, Soviet-era equipment sits alongside new Western European machinery. 
is part of its drive to keep modernising, the factory used its Unido grant to invest in LED lighting. Завдяки проекту Юнідо за останній рік, як ми от від того, як ми поставили освітлення, нам вдалося суттєво зменшити енерговитрати. Під нашим по нашим порахункам це приблизно біля 50 тисяч доларів в рік. The project's name is Improving Energy Efficiency and Promoting Renewable Energy in the Agro-Food and Other Small and Medium Enterprises in Ukraine. It's been running since 2012. In that time, Unido has worked with both the private and public sectors. It helped companies drop their initial business plans. And it helped the Ukrainian government draw up a national renewable energy action plan. Unido's principal partner is Jeff, the Global Environment Facility. It's also worked closely with three government agencies which have managed the projects on the ground. The Ministry of Agrarian Policy and Food, the Institute of Renewable Energy and the State Agency of Energy Efficiency and Energy Saving. We take from our partners everything the best and try to implement it in ourselves for the solution of the national issues of the natural resources and the natural Ну, на сьогоднішній день це дуже важливо, і вже уряд е, зрозумів, що без відновлюваної енергетики, без низ, низьковуглецевої енергетики, ну, немає майбутнього. On our fields we do have a lot of biomass. You can take it and you can use it for production of the alternative energy. The numbers we calculated them uh, could be up to the 14 or 15 percent in the total production of the energy in Ukraine. But right now we have only 7 percent. The bigger amount of such projects will be, the more information will be about the profitability of such projects throughout the market. Such situation will give us uh, an opportunity to attract additional funds, attract additional institutional investors for investing in such particular projects. Well, there may be an initial reluctance to change the production process that you're used to, uh, have been doing for many years, but when the producers and the SMEs actually know that it makes a difference to use such new and clean technologies in terms of savings, uh, reduction in gas consumption for instance, and helps them increase their own production lines. The benefits are very clear and all of our partners are very eager to expand more and, uh, and replicate in other sectors. Mm -hmm.